Hi, my name is George Gastaldi. I'm a core developer for the JBoss Forge project. Today I'm about to show you how to create a command that validates input using bin validation annotations. First step would be to create a new add-on project. You press command 4 and you create a new project. Let's call it my add-on. The project type will be a forge add-on. And then we will use the CDI furnace container. We'll choose the UI add-on and we will also depend on the beam validation, the newest add-on, the beam validation add-on. Finish. Next step will be to create a new UI command. Let's call example command for instance. Okay, then put the I input, say the name, we'll inject it, then we'll initialize it, and we'll show you. the output. Next step is to build and install the add-on. Oops, let me see this. Okay, control 4. I should see the command example. Here it is. It's asking for a name. And hello George. Okay, so what what if I want to validate stuff? Then let's say I want to use a minimum of um, two and max of 10 now since the value to be validated is inside uh, the UI input and it is not the U the UI input object that should be va uh, validated we should use a, a special annotation that is unwrapped validated value unwrapped validated value this is an annotation from Hibernate annotations that will apply the, the constraints uh, directly to the value instead of the object. So let's be able to install again. Oops, I forgot to save it. Let's run the command again. And you can see that the validation just took place. That's it. Hope you like it.
uh, stay tuned for more videos and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.